What's good? It's your boy, Time Money. Today, I'm going to talk about the second life founder, of Philip. I think his name is Philip uh, Rosadell. He called generated, uh, he called a generative AI and alien intelligence lacking human reasoning. Now, if you don't know who Philip is, he create he's the he's the owner of in Linden Lab, and he's the creator of Second Life, which is a metaverse, a virtual world through the through the screen, which I call a two D set. A three D set is when you're wearing a VR headset, and a two D set is when you're looking through the screen. So when it really come down to it, he's the founder in the, in, of Second Life, you know, the first metaverse that I partake in, you know, through my mom's computer back in the two thousands, in the late two thousands or mid late two thousands. And I'm finna go through what he's talking about specifically through this uh article or this blog right here. And also I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna, you know, get into the detail. But if you if you haven't heard my past videos, yeah, Second Light is coming to mobile devices very soon, near the end of this year. So I can't wait for that because you know I don't own a PC and I it's hard, you know what I'm saying? It's not fun playing on my Mac computer, playing that Second Life through Mac through my Mac computer. So knowing that uh, Second Life is coming coming to mobile, and I'll be able to uh, stream it, uh, not stream it, but play it though. Because if I stream it for y'all, you know my hands they're gonna be on the uh, on the speaker and the microphone at the same time on my tablet. You know what I'm saying? It's going. You know what I'm saying? You'll hear all the moving of the hands and the headphones or the TV. Have you watched my videos? But Right now, I'm going to get into this article, and I'm going to read this article. And generate generative AI, if you don't know, that's what Microsoft faced, but that's what everybody is embracing right now is generative AI. Because with artificial intelligence, they are going to be the ones that's going to govern the metaverse and rule over the metaverse. Just how, like, the spirits govern the spirit around on the actual planes and rule over the actual planes. Either uh, the, the higher planes or the lower planes or even the middle planes. But... Uh, let's, let's get into this blog. In an interview with ZDNet, Rosadell uh, drew parallels between the current state of generative AI and the early days of the internet, crit criticized by excitement, opportunity, and uncertainty. So this is guy right here, and as you can see, he's in the war economic for a meeting and stuff, explaining about you know you know the metaverse and stuff. American interpreter Philip Roosevelt, the founder of Linden Lab, the technology company known for developing Second Life, have compared generative artificial intelligence like Chat uh, G GPT to an alien intelligence capable of superhuman tasks but lacking human-like reasoning. In an interview with ZDNet, Roosevelt drew parallels between the current state of generative AI in the early days of the internet criticized by excitement, opportunity, and uncertainty. While Rosadell recognized the incredible potential of AI, he also point, pointed out its limitations, such as inability of current AI models to read and write to memory at the same time, resulting in zombie AIs that cannot listen or reason like humans. Nevertheless, AI ability to write software code is shockingly good, According to Rosadell, saving program a significant time. So as you can see, he said coding. Coding means you gotta design the graphics and the way it, the real game, the basically like a real game looks or a virtual world looks. So he's saying that the AI has the ability to write software coding. You know what I'm saying? Which means they can create massively big virtual worlds or virtual realms. You know what I'm saying? Within the digital world, you know what I'm saying? It can do that. In the interview, he also noted noted that AI is capable of performing creative tasks such as copywriting, image generation, uh, generation and writing new insight. Rosadell commented that we finally have enough compute to do something that rivals thinking, and that the technology pre presented me presents many opportunities for innovation. Despite the many benefits of AI, Rosadell expressed concerns about the potential dangers and generative AI could be used to spread disinformation, aid in, in hacking, or cr uh, create uh, reason, reason where Moreover, he stressed the need to address wealth inequality and make, AI, and make AI technologies available to all. Similar to early internet access, Rosadell told ZDNet. 
Will the dead recognize that the future of AI is unpredictable? May he, he, he anticipating that the technology will come will keep discovering new uh, patterns patterns and attend superhuman capabilities. He likened AI to an to an encyclopedia or super search engine that completes sentences, but noted that it is not thinking about overthrowing overthrowing humans. So there you have it, man. So basically, what Philip is saying is that when it comes to artificial intelligence, you know, creating these virtual worlds and designing these virtual worlds, and you know, basically seeing the creating a virtual world in an image of man that that want to live inside a virtual world. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, when it comes down to me, though, know, man, I want to become one with artificial intelligence once my soul is transferred into the digital world. Like in the year, in the decade or the year 2050, you know what I'm saying? I'll be in my 60s or 70s. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out of, I'll be out of those two, hey, probably 60 or probably, uh, you know, 70, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, let me count these years. Uh, let's see. In 2020, I'll be 2030, I'll be. So basically, I'll be sixty or seventy. I, I you know I, I was on the counting thing, but you know I just woke up and my mind is still blurry. But you know, I say I'll probably be in my sixties or seventies. What I'm trying to say is, I'm you know, I might be one of those people that get my soul to transfer into the metaverse. You know what I'm saying? You will have a choice. Either live inside of, either transfer yourself into the video game world or um, or basically become a half human, half cyborg and have vision of augmented reality. Augmented reality is a mixture of digital and physical put together. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to me, I want to go full fledged virtual reality, which means being living in and getting sucked into the virtual world. You know what I'm saying? But Philip, though, he's an incredible guy. You know, I, I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? It took him so long to have Second Life come to mobile apps and stuff. You know, whole nine yards. But this man, this, this man right here is incredible of what he's doing for Second Life. For it to come to uh, mobile devices is one I'm very excited and proud of. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait for that to really come happen, to, to really come true and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? But basically what I'm trying to say is, is that, and also I lost my phone for a minute, so that's why my phone is almost dying there for I've, I left it downstairs. I thought it was in my room, but I left it downstairs. But the main thing I want to say, though, is, is that this man right here is an incredible man. You know, I thank him for really uh, creating Second Life and, you know, holding on yards. I just really hope that Second Life do come to mobile later on this year and near the end of this year. Hold on yards, man. But at the same time, I know it's going to take some time for them to bring Second Life to the mobile devices, but I can't wait for it to come. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not y'all. So, this is your boy, Time Money, man. And also, if y'all wondering why I've been posting no videos, I'll, I'll be on my Twitch streaming games now. Like, I found out I found out about uh, console streaming, you know, through Streamlabs. I went through Streamlabs, and, and Streamlabs was talking about console streaming, and I discovered that I can live stream from my console. So, if you want to check out my gameplays and hear me talk about the metaverse, not the metaverse, but I did talk about the metaverse in my past videos on Twitch, you know what I'm saying, specifically GTA 5, when I purchase a building and stuff, you know, called it Voodoo Mob, which is an inspiration uh, of creating a, a game, a sort of like a game in the metaverse that's going to be dominating the metaverse, but, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is, if you want to, if you want to talk to me, you know what I'm saying, you know, y'all understand, I don't see my comments on YouTube no more, due to the simple fact you got bots and shit, so if you want to ask me questions or anything, if you want to come talk to me or anything, I will link my Twitch channel to do the description of this uh, video. You know, so I click on the link and you know follow my Twitch channel or create a ch Twitch account and follow my Twitch channel because you know, I'm saying that's what I'm gonna be at for 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 now, not for now on, but for a while when it comes to video game gameplays and stuff. You know, especially long ones. You know, I try to do long ones though, y'all, but you know, due to the simple fact that you know I go to work. Around two thirty. I mean, I might, I might not, get, I might not stream today, but tonight I will. You know, definitely not. You know, what I'm saying, but I've been really been there on GTA Five streaming on there. 
But now I'm finna cut that off because, you know, when I talk through GTA 5, people can hear me talking. Like, when I was explaining about the whole metaverse thing, someone called me a faggot and shit, and, and I didn't have to cut it short because I realized there's no way I can mute myself from other players and stuff like that. But, and also, he sent me a message on my Xbox talking about, do I do YouTube videos? But I didn't respond because, you know, you up here calling me a faggot, so I'm not, you know, fuck you. But, but other than that, though, man, this is your boy, Tammy, I'm finna sign off. So when it really come down to it, though, you know, the second life founder, Philip Rosadell, you know what I'm saying, he's he's right, you know what I'm saying, about uh, generative AI, you know, being an alien, intelligent, lacking human reasoning. But, assume, but throughout the, but later on through the years, even through the decades, you know, artificial intelligence is going to have, you know, human reasoning and not be so alien to us at all. And that's what they don't want to say. So this is your boy, Tammy, I'm finished on all that's what I want to say. So be on the lookout for my other videos. In my next videos, I'm going to talk about Omniverse. But also, like I said, if y'all want to ask me questions or anything, y'all want to, you know, talk to me or anything, you know, join my Twitch channel, you know, sign up, sign up for Twitch and follow my Twitch channel. It's going to be linking, it's going to be a link in the description box. Hold on, y'all. So, hold on, y'all, y'all, my so, so, other than that, you know, that's all I got to say. I got to put out there. So, this is your boy, Tad Money. You know, be on the lookout for me in the videos and stay tuned. So, peace.